In the headlines of VTC Now World, Dogs Don Kimonos receive blessings in place of children in Asian Japan. Escaped Lion sleeps it off after a stroll through Italian town. Here are the details. A trend of blessing dogs and cats in Japan during a traditional coming-of-age festival for children is catching on amongst pet owners as the nation faces a plummeting birth rate. On November 14th, a group of Shiba Inu dogs dressed in kimonos were lined up together at a shrine for a commemorative photo to celebrate Shichigo-san, a Japanese tradition for parents to take their children when they are at 3, 5 and 7 years of age to a local shrine to make a wish for a prosperous future. We celebrated Shichigo-san for human children in November. For me, this is my child, so I decided to come here to pray at the same time as children's Shichigo-san being celebrated. The dog owners led their charges up steep steps to reach the Inuneko Jinja or dog cat shrine to pray and receive a blessing from a Shinto priest. This dog is getting older. It's considered an old dog at the age of seven. So I came to pray that it will stay healthy for as long as possible. <laughs> the Zama Shrine, which dates back to the 6th century and lies about 35 kilometers or 21.8 miles southwest of Tokyo, established a specific prior site for pests in 2012. It now hosts Sichi Gosan rituals where pet parents can pray for the health and happiness for their animals. For many pet owners attending the ritual ceremony, their four legged friends are an important part of the family as Japan's birth rate fell for a seventh consecutive year in 2022 to a record low. The number of children is decreasing each year, and as a result, more and more people are pouring their love into their dogs and cats. We want to offer the pet owners a place at Zama Shrine for them to thank the God when their dogs and cats reach the age of 3, 5 and 7, and to receive blessings so that they will have a healthy and prosperous life together. The shrine said this year about 120 pets would be brought in for blessings for this special occasion and the number would be rising going forward. Among them is Natsuki Aoki, who took her two three-year-old chihuahuas on a plane ride to Tokyo from the western city of Hiroshima so her four babies could get special treatment. There are not many shrines that welcome pets and allow them to walk inside. So I think it would be great to see more places like this. <laughs> they are very important to me like my own children. Today is the date of Shichigo-san, so I came here to pray that they will have a safe and healthy life with us together. A lion that escaped from an Italian circus has been taking well-deserved naps 
to recover from a November 11th night out in the seaside town of Vladispoli. That sparked panic before authorities managed to recapture him. The adult lion named Kimba escaped from the Ronnie Roller Circus on November 11th afternoon and was on the loose for around seven hours before he was sedated with an aesthetic dart. What happened is very strange. The lion got out and there is an ongoing investigation because the dynamics are not clear. All we can say is that the lion does not have the ability to open a latch and break a lock. The lion is fine. He is here sleeping with his brothers. Yesterday, he also received his food because logically we didn't know if he had eaten something outside. Maybe a noxious herb that could hurt him. So we kept him for 24 hours on an empty stomach, but he's fine. Footage and pictures, some taken by locals, went viral and showed the lion roaming around the town streets, skirting houses and fences, and standing in front of a carabinery police car. Local authorities are investigating how the lion managed to get out of its metal enclosure. We always kept him under control and kept him calm by talking to him. I personally was close to the lion with the veterinarians at the moment when the decision was made to launch the anesthetic dart. These operations were hindered because when some people saw the lion, they would start shouting, swearing, and the lion would get nervous. In a Facebook post on November 12th, Local mayor Alexandro Grando wrote that he would ask council experts to check if there were legal grounds to revoke the permits for the Ronnie Roller Circus. The traveling circus was scheduled to stay in Ladispoli between November the 9th to 19th. Some locals expressed solidarity with Kimba. All I can say is that the news got as far as South America. They called us from Venezuela to ask about the lion. In fact, we came to see how the animal was. I can say that it's better not to give an opinion if you don't know what to say. I feel sorry for it, though for them, animals should be free.